In an age of skyrocketing divorce rates, is it really possible to make love last? Welcome to the Falling in Love Forever Show with Drs. Barbara and Michael Grossman, the well-known relationship experts and best-selling authors of The Marriage Map Book. Each week, they share the latest information to help you enjoy your romantic partnerships so you can fall in love forever. Here are your hosts, Drs. Barbara and Michael Grossman. Welcome. I'm Dr. Michael Grossman. I'm Dr. Barbara Grossman. I'm the authors of The Marriage Map, A Road to Transform Your Marriage from an Ordeal to Adventure. Today, we're going to talk about parenting skills, creating successful children. So parenting skills are a very, very important part of family life. And we tend not to uh, focus on the skills it takes to be a good parent. We think we just love our children, it's going to happen. But there's a lot of specific things we have to pay attention to and develop specific skills. So parenting skills is not just good for your children, it's good for your partnership. And we are lulled asleep by it because when a child comes into the family, when a child is born, it's mainly sleeping and it's the mother's province to feed it and and create a rhythm and before long by about you know eight months to a year um, if a child is not properly routined actually the routine could start way before eight months of sleeping and waking and eating uh, if there's not a proper routine it gets extended to a, 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 a dynamic where the mother is essentially uh, in charge of, of the child. Uh, and um, as time goes on, uh, what happens is the um, father can feel excluded. And as the child grows more, um, the dynamic between mother and child becomes more dominant and um, father is left out. And as more children come, it becomes more accentuated. It's so important that a husband and wife are involved in creating the structure of the home. The first part elements of the structure is sleeping and waking and eating. Uh, it's good for the child to have regular schedule of eating and sleeping. It re uh, regular eating um, reinforces regular sleeping. It's good, for, um, it's good for the parents to work together and understand that they are the heads of household and that together they, they create the structure of the home. As the child grows further, there, there needs to be a clear expectation about what um, a child can do for themselves. It's very important that parents do not do for a child what a child can do for themselves, so that um, a child should be able to eat finger food at the table and behave properly as a child gets older in their high chair or eventually um, the uh, family table. It's important that a child learn to uh, pick out their clothes for school uh, and eventually to learn to button their clothes at age appropriate points. The uh, requirements of the child should be defined and clear and expected by the parents, whether it's mom helping the children in the morning or dad helping the children in the morning. And this allows the parents to work in concert with each other. It creates mutual respect. They are the management team of a family and as managers, there's a whole skill set to understand and, it's, um, and implement. And it actually um, supports learning skills in the working world, how to manage people. Do you, um, you want uh, the husband and wife, mom and dad, to um, have specific rules that get implemented consistently the same way. And there's no negotiation, there's no manipulation. It is what you say it is, and you stand there while the child does what you want, whether it's mom or whether it's dad. If you do it any other way, and a child is able to um, negotiate something different, that, that means the child is making a deal with mom or dad, and the other partner isn't included. Um, that begins to tear a mom and a dad or partners away from each other. And there's a favorite parent, because the parent can will give more and it, it, it translates into a lack of respect from the partner. And that's important that you work as partners. So I'll tell you a little story about 
Dr. Barbara and myself when we were raising our children. When they became teenagers, there were two of them, 18 months apart, and they were really tough, very independent, self-sufficient kids. And they would wrap Barbara around her finger, and Barbara was like one of the kids, and that was really difficult. And I made an agreement with uh, Barbara that um, we would decide ahead of time whatever changes we need to make with the kids, whatever agreements, whatever rules, guidelines we were going to make. Barbara and I would make them together, separate from the kids. We'd think out what, how we want to respond to their requests and their desires. And then I would be the one to talk to them about it. Because if Barbara talks to them, it was going to become a big argument with the kids. And when I talk to them, I could just firmly say, this is what we've agreed to. Okay, you want to uh, adjust it? Well, let me talk to your mother. We'll think about it. And when we did that, everything calmed down in the family. It's very important for the parents to figure out you know, how do we have a united front to the children? You should never have one person do the negotiation. You just say, okay, we'll think about it. And then both parents go into the other room, think about it, talk about it, debate about it. And then when you come out, it's united front. United front is really critical because not only are you handling the children properly, but as Dr. Barbara referred, you're creating your marriage to be firm and you're actually teaching your children how to have a marriage because the children look at what you do, they don't listen so much to what you say. You can pontificate with the kids, but they watch you. And when the parents make it clear to the children that there's a separation between children and parents, that the parents are deciding together as a team how the rules and the guidelines are going to be in the family, they learn that, okay, that's how it is with parents. They learn how to have a marriage by watching you. It's more than just teaching your children how to have a marriage. It's also, you know, it's, it's uh, so let me t uh, say that on behalf of uh, my temperament and people like me and tr typically women are more agreeable. We ha we're more compassion oriented. And so we're more likely to uh, be willing to, to give in to a child who wants something uh, urgently. And um, so it's important that uh, husband and wife work together because you can think it through and see what works best for you. Also having you know, allowing a child to argue with you and win the day a lot, teaches them that they can manipulate rather than um, if you have a, a clear, defined uh, structure of rules and accountabilities, you teach children to be accountable. You teach children that they need to um, uh, honor their parents. You need, they need to do certain things because that's part of being a family. That's their their role in the family. And it ultimately will set them up to be more, um, to understand how to work in a structure like a working environment. They'll learn accountability and trustworthiness because they can't manipulate their way out of an accountability. So you're teaching your children how to be little adults and uh, how life works so that they will be able to launch themselves and be successful in life. Now, Dr. Barbara and I have created a series of, um, of uh, modules. One of the modules on parenting. We have uh, three different modules on parenting, which will give you a lot of skills that we just talked about today. And if you're interested in, in being able to be a part of that, we want you to send us uh, a note. You can send it to the marriagemap.com and, and enter in your name and address and just put a note that you'd like to be a part of these, uh, these classes. We'll be happy to assist you in doing that. And uh, we have our class on Falling in Love Forever, which is our class on marriage, where we have five two-hour classes where we give you lots of skills of how to make your marriage uh, more loving, more intimate, communicate without arguing and understanding each other. So that's something that we invite you to do. We also can um, go to the marriagemap.com and get information on that. Anything else you'd like to add, my dear? Well, I invite you to join us. It's important to be successful in parenting. It will cement your relationship. You have a romantic relationship. You have a, um, a partnership in 
uh, taking care of money, you have a partnership, taking care of uh, your children with parenting. There's so many important elements to partnering and we want you to have happy, satisfying, good lives as a family. Thanks so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again in just a few weeks. Bye for now. Thanks. Thank you for watching the Falling in Love Forever show with Drs. Barbara and Michael Grossman. Join us next week for another informative discussion to help you keep your love alive. Be sure to visit us at themarriagemap.com or find out about our relationship classes at fallinginloveforever.com.